Welcome to the Armstrong and Getty Show. Quick call from Marie in Auburn. There's going to be a revolt in this country about flying over the holiday <laughs> season. Yes, there is. Mark our words. Marked. Um, the opt-out of the airport scanner program building viral video going around on YouTube about a guy who says, no, I don't want the grundle pad and gets in all sorts of trouble and they hassle him and, and he's free to go, but they won't let him go and they play that game with him. It turns very ugly. Do you get to fly? No, you got to go home. Well, that's a heck of a choice to make. Before we get into some of the uh, the movements and controversies and stuff, Marie is just back from uh, Hotlanta, the giant Atlanta Hartsfield Airport. Hey, uh, air, airport rather. Hi, Marie. Hey, how you doing? Good. Go ahead. What happened? Well, first of all, I just want to say I'm back from watching my son graduate from uh, basic training at, at Fort Benning, and I could not be prouder cool. of him. Now he's headed for Airborne, so Fantastic. that's what I was doing it in, it in the Great South, but. Um, went through a couple of security lines going both ways, and the one in Atlanta, <clears throat> the women there, I don't even know if they were looking at what was coming through their station because they were very busy chatting about how good their job was compared to some relatives' jobs uh, at Walmart. Um, and, then- and, and since they have similar qualifications, <laughs> uh, they really are in the catbird seat. Go on. And I did see the infamous machine. I was very interested in it. So luckily my son uh, wore shoes that were hard to put on, so I got to stand there and walk around it and look at it. And it's really, like, futuristic. My son thought it was cool. I, on the other hand, thought if I was standing in it, it would be so embarrassing because the screen where your body or whatever shows up is in view of anyone that happens to be standing there. That's what I always wondered nice. about that. Nice. Yeah. So. so anybody standing with the proper angle can look at all the people come through and check out your, uh, you know, body yeah. shape. Yeah, I, I would probably refuse. I could not imagine going through that. You would opt out a growing movement, Marie. Yes, All right. Would. Hey, thanks for the call. Thanks, guys. And give our best wishes to your son. Will do. All right, Bye. thanks. Boy, that opt out's not very realistic. How often do you fly where it's kind of, you know, maybe I'll go, maybe I won't? I generally have a pretty uh, decent intention of getting where I'm going. Yeah, yeah. Well, you opt out of the uh, the screening with this newfangled machine, and then they got to give you the full we're in love rub down. I'd rather walk through the machine. Recent article, San Diego newspaper stated, quote, So this is for people who think the machine is too invasive, invades their privacy too much? Yeah. Because if, if the machine speeds things up, I'll walk through it every time. The scans are detailed enough to identify a person's gender, to identify a person's surgery scars, to discern whether a woman is on her menstrual cycle or not. What? The, oh, because it can, sees I've the... seen these images. They can see everything. And in some cases, like, well, that little old airport in Atlanta, the busiest one on Earth, the screens are plainly visible to passersby. Jeez. Is it surprising Zoo. to anybody that they set it up that way, though? They, they, all this stuff seems like it's run by complete idiots. Pro-consumer grassroots effort We Won't Fly is organizing mass X-ray scanner opt-outs at airports around the nation for national opt-out of the airport scanners day, November 24th. In order to highlight the health and privacy dangers of the TSA backscatter X-ray airport scanners. Because it does hit you with some radiation, too. Not only are these porno scanners a gross violation of individual privacy, porno scanners, that's what they are, said co-founder George Donnelly. They're also a threat to the health of millions of passengers and ineffective as well. The go- mm, are they ineffective? I think they're probably quite effective. The goal of the demonstrations is to urge Americans to exercise the legal right to opt out of the scan. Be prepared for delays and intimate TSA pat-downs. See, I don't mind the intimate pat-down. I don't care. But I can certainly see as a woman why you might be bothered by that. And I sure as hell don't want it for my kid. I you, mean, you, that's that's completely out of bounds. You, 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 you're fine with other men rubbing down your junk, checking out your, 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 your back entrance. That's all right. Well, how, well yeah. Define check out. Are they checking my oil or are they just... Some of- Feeling to see if there's anything in the, in the cloth. Some of them wearing full leather gear, all oiled up. And all right with you. Nobody's getting their jollies out of this. If I were a six, oh. if I were a sixteen year old me, mm. and it was supermodels coming through all day long, I couldn't maintain my interest in that for hours. Right. So nobody's right. getting any jollies out of this. As University of California scientists noted earlier this year, though, Jack, the airport scanners may pose a serious health risk. Our overriding concern is the extent to which the safety of the scanning device has been adequately demonstrated. 
This can only be determined by a meeting of an impartial panel of experts, blah, 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 radiation biologists, blah, 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 at which time all the available relevant data can be reviewed. You know, and I, I've always had the same problem with the whole thing. They they act like the procedure is it's like a game, like it's not about stopping terrorists, right? Like it's a game, right? Because I saw somebody getting yelled at at the airport the last time I flew when we, when when I was coming back from uh, Burbank. You left early. I t- I took the later flight. Huh. Yeah. Um, some lady got yelled at for having too much lotion. And she said, oh, I forgot I left it in there. And they just, you're not supposed to have this. She knows. She's not a terrorist. It's not an attempt. I mean, you don't understand your job. Your job is to stop terrorists. No, it's not. Not to, to yell check at, off boxes not on to, this list. Not to yell at women who forget and leave lotion in there. She's not. Even if the lotion got through, nothing ha- happened. They, I don't think they understand she would at be all. moist and supple. I don't think they understand at all what they're even doing. No. They think the point is to stop lotion and toothpaste from getting on board. Right. Right. Uh, that's what confuses me about the whole thing. Whoops. Wrong button. Jerry in Stockton. Hi, Jerry. Jerry, good morning. Hello, Jerry. Hello. Jerry's gone. <laughs> like we're, we're, we're crafting this wonderful Thanksgiving. My parents are in Arizona. My mom had knee surgery. She's hobbling around. She can't cook a meal. We're going down with the grandson, who they haven't seen, but just for a couple of days when he was right after he was born. Right. I mean, the whole thing's very charming. And oh, it's fabulous. My wife's going to cook the meal. So my mom, because my mom can't. I mean, just it's all going to be fantastic. So getting to the airport on that Wednesday and, and saying, you know what, I'm opt out and I'm going to stay home is not really that much of an option. On the other hand, I'm not handing my baby over to these freaking morons to strip naked and feel up. No, I tell you what, I've seen it happen. They They, they handle your baby like a... Chinese butcher in Chinatown. Grab it by one leg, look it over, swing it around a little bit. <laughs> I don't doubt that. No, you know, we did get an email from somebody who says they got the family lines for the kids and all, and they're they're pretty cool about it. I've gotten some texts from people who said, who've who had uh, the different experiences for mm. whatever reason. Mm. Well, just whatever you do, please have somebody videotape it with their iPhone. And I certainly have found uh, by traveling that it's so different at every airport. So incredibly oh, different. Right, Remember when I right. flew from I flew from uh, SFO to New York to Moscow. Actually, I think it was yeah, it was SFO New York to Moscow, Moscow back to New York back to SFO, and it was only at the last leg from New York to, that they that they found I had too much toothpaste and really gave me a lecture about having too much toothpaste in my <laughs> in my and so all the other legs of the flight. It was not. It was fine. Right. Then on that last leg, I've committed some sort of horrifying crime. You were an idiot. Yeah. Yelled at by, you know, teenage felons. It depends on what airport you're in. Pete, you're next, Rob. Hang on. Have you gotten the grundle, Rob? Have you gone through the porno scanner? You think it's all fine and dandy? 1-866-331-TALK. You are listening to the Armstrong and Getty Show.